I started basketry. The first basket I ever made, I was in uh, preschool because they had those children who could speak English and those who understood English but couldn't speak. So I was in that class. And, and they decided that if they were doing something like uh, weaving a basket or some of the boys were carving and that they would feel more comfortable learning to speak English. And so my mother was in the class teaching the basketry. But of course, being her daughter, I wouldn't listen. She made everybody take their baskets undone because it had to be cylindrical. Instead, mine, I don't know if it's convex or concave, but it wasn't like it should be. But I wouldn't take it undone. Then my father also taught at the school. He taught third, fourth, and fifth grade. And so I heard my father telling my mother that the homeroom teacher said there was going to be a competition in Victoria in the Museum of Cra in, 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 Indian Arts and Crafts that were going to be judged at that museum. Well, when I heard the prize, first prize was $5. Well, in the 1930s, $5 was like 500 is now. So I got really excited and then came back to the classroom and I said, I'll take mine and done now. And my mother said, it's too late. We only have two more days to weave. So she wouldn't let me take it and done. So I kept weaving on that lumpy, bumpy basket. And finally, when uh, the money came back, well, she was, when my, the homeroom teacher was putting the baskets in the box and mailing them, my mother said, don't put hers in because it's not that good. The homeroom teacher said, they all have to go. So it went. When the money came back, when the prize uh, was announced, I got first place. And I imagine it's because it was different from everyone else's. And so she put the blue ribbon on me, and then she called my best friend, Sylvia Kelly, to the front of the class, and she gave her the $5. I was so angry. I pulled the blue ribbon off my dress, and I threw it down, and I stomped on it. And I said, I hate weaving anyway. So all those years when she was weaving, I would never look to see what she was doing. Then, quite a few years later, I was working at the hospital. By then, I was a bookkeeper. And a collector had sent me a basket because I did all the uh, writing for my mother. She had mailed, she had, he had ordered a hat. And when he got the Haida hat, he was so excited that there was still Haida, spruce root Haida weaving. So he sent a basket to me to give to me to, because he just was so thrilled that there still was Haida weaving. And so he wrote in that letter that this basket was woven by Ida Benzel, and she was 92. She was a Silets. Uh, native from Beaverton, Oregon. And so he wrote that when she died, the art of Silas basketry would die. Well, when I was reading the letter, my husband happened to be in the room. And so after my mother left, then he said to me, you know, Haida basketry is going to die too. Your mother said every all the Native people are so angry about her sharing intellectual property that the te classes she's teaching at Ketchikan Community College are only attended by white people. And so he was concerned. He said, I think you should take the class. So I went to the community college class. And when I walked in, my mother said, what do you do here? I weave, I weave, you know, look, go on, go home. And thank goodness the head of the art department walked in and he said, Selena, we need her registration. So I got to stay. So I got to take the class. And anyone who weaves knows that when you start weaving, 
it is so amazing. It is such a fun thing to do. Uh, because the first lesson you learn is don't be angry at anybody because your weaving, weaving will show it. And don't think angry thoughts and be sure your house is clean. I'm not good at that, but <laughs> that's one of the rules. And it's just uh, anyone who weaves, like I said, is you're pulled into that weaving and, and it's just so exciting to be able to weave because it, it's so calming. It's like meditation.